Hi, I'm Nicolene Peck, and I teach all about parenting and good communication. I'm the founder of a program for parenting called Teaching Self-Government. So I look through every situation with parenting through this lens of self-government. In this video, we're talking about teaching siblings to disagree appropriately. In this video, we're going to be understanding the skill disagreeing appropriately a little bit. Hopefully you have learned about disagree appropriately on this channel beforehand, but if not, this is a great time to understand that powerful self-government skill that helps people get their way and be understood. Everybody wants to learn that skill, so we're gonna see not only how to do it with a person right here in studio, with me, but also you are going to be seeing siblings disagreeing appropriately with each other in their homes too. Now, there are many skills of self-government, but there are four basic ones that actually take care of 99% of all of your behavioral problems. These four children's books each teach one of the four basic skills of self-government, which are following instructions, accepting no answers and criticism, accepting consequences, and the one we're talking about today, disagreeing appropriately. Many people think of using disagree appropriately with their parents, so children disagreeing appropriately with parents but also parents and parents and children and teachers and parents and people at work and children and children should all be using the skill disagreeing appropriately. Now, hopefully you've seen the full class about disagreeing appropriately, which is actually a YouTube video that I have here on this channel. It is a full class about disagreeing appropriately. If you've seen that, then you'll understand the skills and why the skill is so effective. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on how to use that with siblings in order to combat things such as sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry is a problem that faces many families. I think a lot of people think it's normal, but it doesn't have to be. In fact, my children were really the best of friends with each other. I loved walking through the halls of my home and listening to my children sort out their problems with each other. They knew how to accept no answers from each other, but they also knew how to disagree appropriately with each other. It was really powerful to hear them play Legos with each other, disagreeing appropriately over little pieces that they wanted to share. Disagreeing appropriately is an empowering skill that leads to great relationships. Right now, let's take a look at what it can look like if siblings are not disagreeing appropriately. All right, so this is Taylor. She helps me film YouTube videos, <laughs> so she's a very talented person, but she's just learning about disagreeing appropriately today and is going to be practicing it with me. So Taylor, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one of those situations that happens in like almost every family that has a car. All right. Okay, every family that has a car. And if the family has a bike, it's probably still gonna happen <laughs> if the family has a bike. Okay, so the situation is who gets to sit in the front Kay. seat? Okay. okay, I'm the older one. <laughs> okay. You're the younger one. Okay, and we don't have a system for who is sitting Just in the front. It out. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a system. Okay, so here we go. So mom says from the distance, hey, everybody get in the car. I'm like, I'm front. No, no, you have front last time. No, I did mom not have front last time. time. You always have the front. I don't always, always have, have the have front. Mom Listen, I turn. am older mom anyway. Said it was my turn. I'm mom! Mom! She said it was my it's turn. It's safer for me to sit in the front. We're like the same height. You live not like a year really. older than me. I'm no, mom said it was my turn. No, it's not your turn. Don't We're going to go talk to mom. Mom, safer mom. Than my Okay, turn. so that is how we don't disagree appropriately, right? So now we are going to disagree appropriately about it, okay? okay. So now I'm going to call front seat and Taylor is going to say, um, I need to disagree appropriately with you about the front seat. And okay. then she's going to say that she understands my point of view, but then she's going to share her point of view and then she's going to listen to what I have to say about it because I did call it first. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And so if I tell her no or yes, she'll have to accept it as a sibling. <laughs> but she still could go and talk to mom about it mm -hmm. and get help if she felt like the other sibling was just being unreasonable. Mm -hmm. All right. So mom calls from the other room. Hey, everybody's time to get in the car. Oh, I get front. I get front. Can I disagree appropriately with you? Yes. 
I understand that you want the front seat, but I also want the front seat, and I know you had it last time, so I feel like it's more fair if I get to have it this time. Is that okay? Hmm. Okay, you can have it this time, but can I have it on the way back? Deal. Two siblings can actually solve their own problem. Now, I know somebody is thinking, yeah, but what if they just disagree appropriately <laughs> back and forth with each, with each other again and again? Yes, that can happen. And occasionally, a parent's going to have to come in and say, all right, now let's look at all this, the facts of this situation and let's decide who is going to think of the other person first. Let's mm -hmm. think of who is going to be the bigger person. And then mm -hmm. hopefully somebody will say, you know what, I'm going to show them it works because <laughs> I want them to disagree appropriately with me okay. next time too. Let's take a look now, Taylor, at some of these other families who are disagreeing appropriately as siblings too. Let's do it. Hi, sir. Wow, you got a lot of jelly beans. Can I have some of yours? No. Okay, but can I disappear properly? Yes. I know you don't want me to have some more, some of your jelly beans, but I really want to. I'm not going to give you no Okay. We are going to teleport. It's the fun way. I don't want to teleport, but can I disappear properly? Okay. Look into my eyes. I know you don't want to teleport. I know that you want to teleport, but I don't want to play that way. I want to go by the real rules. I'll go just very properly, but I'm going to give you a yes answer. Okay. Can I play? No. Okay, I'm sure you appropriately? Yes. I understand you don't want me to play, but there's two trucks. We could split it. Yeah. And then you save me from a fire. Okay. So you see how these siblings are using those exact same steps that Taylor was using for disagreeing appropriately. You see how they're looking at each other, how they're choosing to be calm. They're sorting out their problems. This is a process of maturing. Not only are they learning how to solve problems, but they're learning how to care about each other. Not just when it comes to parents, trying to get parents to see their way, but also recognizing with their peers, with their siblings, they need to be able to discuss in a way that is civil and diplomatic. And you see that it's working sometimes. But sometimes also a person might have to accept a no answer from their sibling. That just happens. It's part of life and it's a good practice at using another skill, which is called accepting no answer. But alas, that's a video for another day. If you've enjoyed this video, then I'm pretty sure you are going to love the full class about disagreeing appropriately. If you have not seen that yet, click on the link to the full class about disagreeing appropriately now.